My name is Daniele Struppa. I'm a mathematician and the chancellor here at Chapman University. I like to see math really as a component of the human intellectual endeavor. And so I like to teach classes that mix math and other aspects of culture. So I taught a class with Jeff Swimmer in Dodge College of Film and Media Arts, and the class was about science documentaries that actually take complicated scientific or mathematical concepts and translate them into ways that are appealing, but also they're not dumbed down, that they really actually provide new and significant understanding more than information. Some of them were about the environment, which seems to be one of the topics our students care a lot about. And the challenge there is how do you go beyond the simple emotional statement that we like to have clean water and try to understand the complexity of the environment. That's where real science comes into the picture. Chemistry, biology, uh, biochemistry, physics, and mathematics as a way sometimes to put all of those together into numerical calculations. We had a beautiful documentary on creativity. How come kids are so creative? and they have this wonderment about reality and this, this great imagination. And then as we become older, that kind of goes away a little bit. And I would say scientists really never lose that. That's what distinguishes scientists, is that we remain like little children. I remember when I was a young kid and I was learning mathematics, and I would start to read a new book. It was very difficult. And then I learned that the only way to really learn new mathematics was to have a problem. Now, if I have a problem, I'm going to look for everywhere for the tools that I need to solve the problem. And that will force me to learn. I think that that's what we do with our undergraduate students. It could be a psychology problem, an environmental science, a mathematics problem. The student will realize, I know very little, but I have a guide, I have a mentor, that's my professor, so I'm going to go to the professor, I'm going to try to figure out how do people study this problem? What is the kind of tools that I need? And the professor will guide me, and that process is really what makes me learn. And there is nothing nicer than starting to work with a young student and then see him or her three years later grow up into a really mature individual. They've really been transformed by this experience and it gives me great personal pleasure.